So this is just a quick demonstration to show how you can use Review and Excel to make an index page, a user-friendly index page, I should say, for your multi-page um, PDF file. So here you can see we've got 167 pages, and here they are. So what we're going to do is start off page layer uh, bookmarks. What we're going to do is create bookmarks. We're going to use the page labels for all 167 pages. Okay, that's created those. Then what we do is we export the bookmarks, but we don't go to a PDF. We go to a CSV file, save. This is our list. We don't need the top one, so we just come down here, highlight those, control C to copy. Then we jump back to our Excel template. You can see we've got nothing in here at the moment. That's the export page. If we jump onto the import page, I've already put a first line in here, which is the kind of the site name. And then what I jump here, paste the values, it expands the table. If I jump back over to here, we've got everything set up so if, if this is just based on a one single single formula and some conditional formatting now this is already works the table works but just to show you if we were to this this adjust the number of rows we're using so you can see we by changing that it just changes the page layout if we go to the view show print preview well, that's not very user friendly because we've got all this blank space down over here and here. So if I jump back to the page and just adjust that up again. So that looks good to me. So if I now do the print preview again, it's filled out the whole page. I would say that's user friendly. So what we do now is we go blue, print to blue beam PDF, print. Save. I've already got one in there, so there we go. So it's exporting that. It's opening it automatically. Here we go. So what then what I want to do is document import. I'm going to import this index page into the original file. Insert pages from document. Add open files, and I'm going to add it before the first page. Okay, so that's in there. Oh, running a bit slowly. I can close that. So what we need to do with this one now is this. This is a trick from Troy De Groot at um, U Chapter Two. So we've got a like a homing button on each of the other pages when we've finished. What we need to do is we come back here. We need to correct the the name on here, the thumb, um, the page label. So I can go create page label. I know I only want to do it for the first page. Select page region. That will do. Okay. Okay. So that's done, let's change that. So what we can do now is jump up to our batch, link new, add open files, next. So we're gonna do all our um, batch linking from our page labels. So we go to generate, just found all of those, run. Two schedule, there are two queries that are the same. So let's have a quick look at those. It yeah, highlights. So I know on that page, I've duplicated the page to split the measures over two pages and sorry, instead of trying to put them all into one because it got too complicated. So I'm happy with that. So I can run, continue. So this runs a bit more slowly when I'm recording the screen. Um, so it's just working through the now 168 pages to hopefully find all the linking information and create the hyperlinks. 
time for me to just have a quick drink as you may be out here I've got a bit of a cold at the moment so fluids are good sorry about that so yeah it's working its way through slowly at the moment Of course, you can change the conditional formatting on the Excel sheet so you can have something different to this. I've just put some formatting in. So the, um, the rows are banded, but you can, you can change that to whatever you want, really. So slowly working its way through. Without the uh, recording on, this would have finished a little while ago. So created 335 hyperlinks, which is good. Finish and close. It's highlighted all of those for us. So all of those in yellow are, high, uh, are links. We haven't got one for this one because what that actually does is if we jump to this page here, it's now highlighted down here, which is kind of gives us a homing button to the index page. So if I click on that, it takes us back there. I want plot 228, which is this. So if I jump onto that, here we go. We're onto the right page. And once again, we've got a homing button down here. And that is our index created. Hope you like that one.